Hey guys, Dansky here with another tutorial and today I'm just going to be taking a quick look at gradients. Uh, so we're going to be going through the gradient tool and just showing how you can apply a gradient to give an image or some text a little bit more impact on the page. Okay, so I'm going to start by going up to File New and creating a new document. 72 dpi is fine. We're going to set the pixel dimensions to 1920 by 1080. Okay, white background is fine, and then click OK. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create some text with the text tool, and I'm just going to type gradients. Make that text black so you can see it, and just bring it up in size. And then double click our background to unlock it and make it an active layer. And then just selecting both these layers, just align them horizontally and vertically. So our text is in the middle of the page. Okay, so there's a number of ways you can apply a gradient. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to click this one here. So to lock the position of this layer, I can still do a few things with it. So I'm going to create a new layer. Now you can use the gradient tool over here. Sometimes the paint bucket tool, if you hold left, and then just select that there. You can access the gradient tool and you can switch between that and the fill bucket. Okay, and then you get your gradients up here and you've got some pre-made gradients over here or you can click on these points here and you can drag them to adjust the gradient or you can click them and then select another color. So I've got a very disgusting looking brown there and that can graduate through to yellow. And you can change these, you can do all sorts. You can even use this uh, point in the middle and you can adjust where the sort of midpoint of the gradient is. And then you can key in, if you want it back in the middle, you can key in 50% here and it goes back. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go and do that. I'm gonna pick this one. So this is a blue to white. So what it's done is it's sampled the blue that I've already got here selected as my foreground color. So I'm fine with that blue, but then what I want to do is I want to gra graduate this through to another shade of blue. So basically a graduation or a gradient is, well no, a gradient is a graduation from one color to the other in Photoshop. So I'm going to pick a lighter blue and maybe make that one just a, just a tad darker, just to kind of emphasize the gradient a bit more. And you've got a whole host of options up here as well. So I'm not going to go into all of them. Uh, they're best explored just by playing with them and you've got your opacity and you can reverse which direction the gradient goes but these two here are the ones that I use most so you could have a gradient that just goes from one side to the other so you can hold left and drag and it will simply run one color into the other the two colors that you picked or three or four you can add however many colors you want into a gradient you could even have a rainbow if that's what you want but one that I like to use quite a lot is the radial gradient and what you do is you simply click in the middle and then drag outwards and what it will do ah so that wasn't what i wanted but i can click reverse as you can see up on the left hand side over here you can see it reverses the gradient so i can then drag out <laughs> and it's done it again i've reversed it and reversed it again right third time lucky drag out from the center and you can see that now i've got the the lighter shade of blue in the middle and then it graduates all the way around out to the darker shade. Okay, now you can create this another way. If we select our background layer and right click it and go to blending options and then you've got gradient overlay. And then you've got a whole host of options here so you can select radial from the drop down list and you click this and you've got this same option so you can pick your colors that you want to graduate into one another or you can graduate a color into transparency so it will just fade out into transparent pixels. So those are the two ways that I apply gradients. So why would you use gradients? Well, there's a million different reasons I could think of to answer that question. But another one that's really good, the reason I use gradients in quite a lot of stuff, particularly with logos, is when I'm mocking up different designs for clients, it helps give something a bit of depth and a bit of standout. So let me just give you an example of what I mean. I'm going to change my text color to white for this example. 
So when you're picking colors for logos and things, you might you might have like a color palette and you might just have a flat color. So I look at that and it looks pretty standard. It doesn't look particularly interesting. I've just filled it in with a solid blue. But then once you apply a gradient, it just gives it a little bit of depth and just makes it look a bit smarter, I think. I know that's gonna be a matter of opinion, but it just allows you to present things in a slightly smarter way. And I find this particularly effective with logos. And you could even pick two different colors altogether. So let's just create a third gradient. And this time we're gonna have it running from, let's go pick a sort of reddish pink color. And I think we're gonna graduate that into There we go, some shade of purple. And we're gonna have this going vertically instead. So I'm gonna click at the top, holding shift, drag down. You can drag in any direction, by the way, but holding shift, you can do it straight down or straight across. I'm gonna let go. And you can create something like that. Or you can simply reverse the gradient or drag up the other way and or reverse it the other way and you can experiment with this. You could even go one step further and you can create your gradient and then you can start introducing other colors. So I've created a new layer on top. I've picked a very light shade of blue. I'm gonna pick my brush tool, set the brush to a very feathered brush with the hardness down to zero. Make it a bit bigger and then you can just click and just be, bring the opacity down on that a bit. So then you can create kind of a bit of a random element and you can introduce as many colors as you like, but this is just a way that you can blend colors together really nicely in Photoshop, just to give something a bit more visual impact. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If it was, please leave a like and let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials and I'll see you next time.